hello and welcome to yet another video tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to learn about ns mutable attribute string in swift 4 hope you are doing great at your own place and for the introduction of ns mutable attribute string i will tell you that it is used to style a text or decorate a text that is going to display it on our ui text controls so let's start it this tutorial I already using the old code that I, cre I created for the previous tutorial where we made a label programmatically and then make it clickable using UI tab gesture recognizer. You can download the source code and also the link for the previous video is given in the description of this video and you can get that those copies from those links and so let's get start. First, we have to make an attributed string variable, attributed, attributed str is equals to n as mutable attributed string dot init. Here it's a init with string. For the time being, we will pass static string swift to top reals and here first we will add attribute string dot add attribute here you can see that adds an attribute with a given name and value to the character in the specified range also we can add using an array and else so we are going to use one by one so we will say add attribute and here ns attribute string key and these have default values like attachment the background color you want to give to uh, the string the font the foreground color and the, the paragraph style shadow strike through color strike through style stroke color text effect underline color underline style there are different styles so let's consider a few basic and for example we will say foreground color first and here we need to pass in value we have to pass the value of for the particular key we passed earlier that is the foreground color so we have to pass the value as ui color dot red and here in range we have to pass the range that is rennes range dot init and location that's from where this attribute should start and suppose we want it to start from the first characters pass it zero and then we will count the characters zero one two three four so our swift variable has five characters and length will be four zero one two three four and length will be five and let's see oh sorry before this we need to set is an attributed text so username dot attributed text so here we are not going to use the default property text we have to use the property attributed text so that the current style text that is displayed by the label and here is equals to attributed string and now let's run the app and see what happens here you can see our swift is in showing in red color because we passed the style red to swift and also please consider that this space is also considered as a character now let's see we want to add another tutorial uh, another attribute so we will say attribute is string dot add attribute and the name and suppose we want to set different font for few characters and we will give UI font dot bold system font of size 34.0 we will make it a bigger and here we will pass ns range dot init and location will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and here 6 because we want 6 and length will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and length will be 9 and now let's see what happens now 
and here you can see the shift and tutorial is bigger because we've passed different font for the tutorials so another font we can use like this for example attribute string dot add attribute and dot name is under line style is equals to um, Mm, not style because I we will cover this in is, is underline color not underline color and here we will set the same range and the value will be UI black or blue black and black and let's see now the swift will show an underline because no underline is shown so we need to add the style attribute string dot add attribute dot underline style don't know what to pass here in underline style here we have to pass you can check the underline style the key is ns number containing an integer default zero no underline so that's why we are not getting an underline so here we will pass it as one and range will be the same just copy it and paste it and now you will see an underline because we have passed the value 1 so here you can see just type let's see what happens here. There are different different color like shadow, shadow, and a certain string, shadow, default, nil, no shadow. So there are different kind of you can give it for example attribute to string dot add attribute dot stroke strike through color is equals to UI color dot yellow and we will pass it here length and same we have to pass attribute to string dot add attribute name dot strike through stride it calls like when and range will be same And here you can see the tutorial is containing the strike through of yellow so these are the different attributes you can add and hope you learn how to style or decorate your string on ui text controls in is in swift 4 if you like our video then please like our video and do subscribe to our channel for the future updates if you have any question then please feel free to comment and we will try to answer them as soon as we can Thanks for watching, bye for now and don't forget to subscribe, bye.